Despite Chancellor Dalton's penny on the pint, it was an encouraging week. Latest figures from Britain's coal fields show that the miners' output has been upped by a quarter million tonnes to give the country four and a quarter million, the highest figure since Dunkirk. On a tour of Britain's coal fields, Pathy cameras went to Northumberland. Listen to the men of Stobswood Colliery, manager Defty and Joe Bailey, telling the story of their output. Uh, you think you'll get your, your face off nicely today anyway? Yes. Because we uh, want to beat the record this week, 2,800 to beat. If you chaps all pull your weight, I think we'll get it all right. Yes, I think no we'll get the target this week. Oh, we'll get the target, I think, all right. That's every, every day this week you've had the face off. Yeah. Well, that's the stuff. Since May, the 350 miners of Stobswood Colliery have beaten their output target every week. In an October week, they turned out 2,800 tonnes, eight tonnes per man. And Stobswood coal is not that easy to handle. 200 feet down in a Beaumont seam, the coal being worked is only 27 inches thick, but it's good stuff, as the housewives of border country will tell you. As an individual worker, the British miner is doing better than any miner in Europe. Production per man shift shows an increase of 100 weight a worker on last year. The number of young workers at the coal face is rising slowly, and the rate of mechanization is progressing. Stobswood is only a small pit in the heart of Britain's coal fields. Union Secretary Ogle Redpath says that their spirit is the reason for success. I'm happy with this team spirit at Stobswood. There's no big men, they're all in a team, all the staying together, and it enables us to get the coals to you and keep or maintain our target. Yeah. Winter stock for industry now seems to be assured. Next year, coal may return to Britain's list of exports. The Stobswood story is one of success shared by all the nation's miners.